Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash today. I fucked up. But first, let's play r slash drunk or a kid, where I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by the clever idiot. Started uncontrollably laughing in public with my friend, now girlfriend, over literally nothing, to the point where we couldn't stand up straight. But what do we think? Is this a drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash today I fucked up, where Selem posted this. Today I fucked up by buying my mom an Amazon device. I want to start by giving some background here. I basically live, eat, sleep and breathe Amazon. I need something straight to Amazon. I use Kindle and Audible daily. Want to stream music? Amazon Music. Want a new movie? Prime Video. Run out of something randomly? Hey, Alexa. Laundry soap, toothpaste, shampoo, dog food, fish food, subscribe and save, biatch. Amazon has the answers to all of life's problems. So when looking for a place to store photos, I see Prime members have free, unlimited photo storage with Amazon Photos. Naturally, my next move is to take full advantage of this, being a Prime member. Automatically upload photos from my phone? Even better. Rewind to September 25th, my mom's birthday. I thought about her gift for a while, but when I remembered she didn't have a smart TV, the answer was easy. I hop on Amazon shopping and use my Amazon credit card to purchase one Fire TV stick. She was so happy she could watch Netflix on her TV now. Yay! Success! Or so I thought. Yesterday I get an email from Amazon with the subject line, Welcome to the Fire TV family, and thought, oh good, she's finally setting up. She's gonna love it. Not even in the smallest, darkest corner of my mind did I imagine that it would sign in to my Amazon account without even asking for a password. Surely she'd have to use her own account. Fast forward to today at a family barbecue. The TV was turned on to the Firestick homepage and people were playing with it, using different apps, etc. Eventually, it's forgotten about and left to turn on its screensaver, sitting in my mother's kitchen. A glance behind me towards the TV to see a giant, lit up, 65 inch photo of my vagina. I spit out my drink and everyone looks at me. I happen to be sitting in a position where the TV is behind me, so every single person in my family got a glorious view of me, bright red, choking, scrambling to find the goddamn remote with a horribly X-rated backdrop. I'm not a person to just take one picture like that and call it good. I took probably 40 pictures that night for my significant other to include dildos, butt plugs, the like, in all different positions to get the perfect photos that were now being displayed on my parents' television for my entire family to view. I have tattoos that are visible in the picture, so there's no denying this is me and no way to talk myself out of this one. Nobody helped me. The remote was nowhere to be found, so pulled the device from the TV and took it straight home with me, where I'm currently hiding it under my blanket in shame and misery. I didn't give anyone a chance to say anything. I just ran away. The worst part, I asked Alexa how to recover from pain and humiliation and... Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Fuck Amazon. Update. I promise an update, but it's not really worthy of its own post. I talked to my mom, who assured me that this is not as bad as it seems. Nobody really noticed, and it's just like when my cousin replied to the group text with his dirty laundry. No big deal. However, my brother says the opposite, and that my mom has threatened death and dismemberment for anyone who dares mention this to me for any reason. <laughs> not sure how to prove that this wasn't an Amazon ad. I just wrote it up how I wrote it because I thought it was funny. I wish Amazon was paying me for this crap. Too long, it didn't read. My sexy pics ended up on my mom's TV at a family party. In the comments, Newbert had this helpful comment. 
As a male, I have a few policies in life that I believe many people should abide by and may this help you in future instances. 1. If you can help it, do not take any photos at all. They will somehow always manage to be seen by people who are not supposed to see them. 2. Do not include your face or notable features in the photos to allow for denial of existence, should the above post happen. 3. If you must take or save photos of others, delete all traces of nude photography after they have served their purpose. Scorch earth that bitch! Live by these rules and you will never have an issue with nude photos again. This next story was posted by Dunder Mifflinhole. Today I fucked up by sucking on my waiter's finger. This happened 30 minutes ago and is exactly what I get for going out during Covid. I would also like to add that I'm still tipsy from the margarita, so sorry for any errors. So today is my birthday and has been incredibly uneventful. I took the day off of work, but despite that it's just been a normal day. No friend group gatherings, no gifts, just another day. And I'm totally fine with that. My mom, on the other hand, felt bad that there was no celebration of any kind, so she was insistent that we go to my favourite restaurant, a local Mexican restaurant, I agree to go for a very early dinner. We get there and are having a good time and it was nice to pretend the world was normal for a moment. I ordered a margarita, they ID'd me and figured out it was my birthday. Fast forward to the end of dinner and I thought I was in the clear from a birthday celebration from the staff. As they bring the bill, they put a big sombrero on my head and start clapping and singing and set down a dessert in front of me. One of the guys had whipped cream on his finger and went in to put it on my nose. Drunk me didn't comprehend that and was very confused. Due to the big sombrero covering my face, he was kind of stumbling trying to find my nose. I thought, oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. My dumbass self sucked the whipped cream off his finger. I realised immediately after that, no, Dunder Mifflin Ho, this is not how you interact with strangers. But it was too late. They picked up the pace of their singing and the guy ran away right after and hid in the kitchen. The whole restaurant, which granted was like 10 other people, but still, stared at me and my mom couldn't stop laughing. We put the dessert in our to-go box and left. 23 years is off to a great start. Too long, it didn't read. My waiter was trying to put whipped cream on my nose to celebrate my birthday. Drunk me was confused and sucked his finger instead. In the comments, Jesus Faction says, I think it's weird for strangers to be touching your face though. I know, right? During a pandemic as well. At least he can wash his hands though. It's not like you can wash your mouth out. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who couldn't stop laughing? It was a kid. This happened last year. Did you guess it right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.